Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I have another product in today, of course, and there we go right here. Uh, now this is the way it came um, and it turns out I guess this is also the box that they, uh, is the actual container box or, or packaging box, whatever. It's not the shipping box, but there is no actual markings or anything on it. The other side just has the, uh, the stickers for shipping. Um, weirdly enough, this side wasn't taped though, uh, but I don't know if that really matters. Uh, but this is, uh, well, let's open it up and see what it is. All right, guys. So here, this is what we've got that was directly in the box. We have some instructions. We have a bag with obviously the product inside. Um, so instructions, literally just one, one side, one sheet. It's very simple. Um, and we'll get into that in just a minute, but let's go ahead and pull stuff out of the bag here decent sized bag and as you can see right here on the front this is by teammates uh and well this was this is something that's going to help me here in the near future so uh i suggest you guys keep an eye on the channel um especially for those of you who are into um, outdoorsy stuff uh this will be on a couple of my playlists uh including the camping and survival list uh, so just to give you an idea and here we go uh, there's the main piece right there uh, oh here you go it's kind of interesting the bag itself has open mesh on the bottom kind of a reason for that too uh, but uh, that is because this is basically one of those portable uh, solar showers uh, and what I'm going to do to you can see it's all collapsed down and um, dimensions like this it's what about um, five, six inches roughly uh, at, from top to bottom like this. And then across, that's going to be right around eight inches, uh, just a little over, I believe. Dimensions are there in the uh, on the site. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, of course, go down there in the description below. Um, we're going to go ahead and open that up a little bit here. And there we go. We can extend it on out. And uh, so there it is. So that's that's full size. Um, this is about a foot and a half um, across uh, or high once you kind of get it into position. And you, of course, have the screw on lid here, which uh, is nice. Um, the fact that it's kind of a cylinder. Um, now, the way this works, like I said, this is considered a uh, well, the, as it says there, a camping shower or a solar shower. Um, the regular ones that I usually see are bags. You have a screw on lid on the side of the bag at the top, and then you've got the little hose that comes out towards the bottom. And it, they're gravity fed, um, so just the weight of the water is what pushes it out. Uh, and so, you know, not bad. It's It works, it does what it needs to do um, as a shower. The cool thing about this one is though, is this one pressurizes. Uh, so that's actually what some of this other stuff is for, and we'll get into it in just a second. Um, but it's, uh, it, it takes it to the next level in a sense, uh, for, for as I understand it. So, I mean, instead of just sitting there and hanging it up in a tree or on a hook somewhere, whatever, you're, uh, you're able to pressurize it. You've got, well, the shoulder strap here, uh, as you can see right there. So shoulder strap clips on. You also have a handhold right there as well. So you can sit there and carry this around with you. And uh, for example, simplest thing, use it to water maybe your outdoor plants. If you have some hanging baskets or something like that, this would be great for uh, doing that. If you don't want to sit there and drag the hose all the way around the house or anything like that. Uh, so really great idea in that aspect. But uh, of course, then it can be used for multiple other things. I mean, you can use it around the home, even though it does say camping. A couple little things here. Like I said, we've got the screw on lid, nice solid uh, plastic. It's not that soft stuff. Some of those ones are soft. I don't like those because they can crush and it, they can leak a lot easier. Uh, I do like this. Uh, it has, you know, just a nice screw on. It has, of course, the little keeper there. So the hose, which uh, as you can see, is stored in the bottom. So uh, it's wound up like this. Uh, you have your connections there as well. And there is also, uh, looks like a little buckle there uh, for something. We'll probably find out what that's for here in just a minute. Probably, oh, there you go. So there, so the idea, I guess, I'm guessing it's gonna be upside down 
um, at some point, or you can hang it upside down, maybe. Um, we'll see that in a second, though. But uh, you've got a couple of the hoses. Uh, let's see, we've got the shower end one here, and then we've got a one with a connector here. And uh, I'm sure we'll be able to see what some of that is when we look at the instructions. Like I said, the instructions are pretty straightforward. Oh, I know exactly what they're for. They're for this. Now, this right here is an air pump. It comes with the air pump. You take the air pump, I believe you plug that into here. There we go. And with that, you can then, you hit the button. Um, I'm going to guess we're going to have to take out the little battery protectors or something like that. Or we may have to charge it because it does have a USB-C connector there. So any of the new phones, uh, those cords are going to be able to charge it. Uh, and um, we may need to charge this to get it running. Uh, I'm not getting it to go right now, so it's probably going to need charged. Uh, but then you've got the hose. As you can see, the hose end is very simple. Um, it's basically just like the one that you have on your sink. Uh, it has just a simple open end. I mean, it's a little bit different at the, at the end here. I don't usually see them quite designed like this, but the basic overall design of it is, is there. So you get kind of a shower instead of just a water out of a tube kind of thing. What water out of the end of the garden hose per se. Uh, but pretty nice in that aspect. I like it. Um, now this is uh, just an elastic, um, like a neoprene uh, type of material right here. Spandex, maybe, um, whichever you want to. Uh, so something something to that extent. And that's that. all that's for. Again, it's just for the pump to sit inside. So you can keep the pump there. And uh, you also have this little loop right here, which I have a feeling that we can take and put the hose through that loop. And that helps to protect not only the hose, but the connections on the pump. So you don't put a lot of torque on it in case things kind of get shifted or moved around or anything like that. Uh, now you can see you have water level markings on the side right here. Uh, the actual measurement of this is supposed to be uh, 12 liters. And let's see, that goes up to, uh, looks like right around, well, 12 liters, right around six gallons. Um, it's like uh, 3.8, 3.89, something like that, liters per gallon. Uh, so, so you're looking at right about three gallons. Um, if you fill it all the way up, I'm sure it's going to be really close to that. Um, maybe just a little over, a little under, whatever. Uh, now, they do call it a uh, solar shower on there. And uh, of course, this isn't white, so it's not going to reflect the heat, though it isn't all black either. It does have uh, the one black section here, but uh, any darkness to these, uh, if you leave it out in the sun, it's going to, of course, absorb some sunlight and uh, hopefully warm up that water for you. Um, if it had more uh, black on it, um, maybe black with white or yellow lettering on it instead, uh, then you could definitely warm the water up in here better. But of course, you always don't don't always want hot water or warm water when you're doing stuff, especially if you're doing your plants. So I guess it's kind of a toss up as to which way you want to use it. Uh, now we have some additional things right here. Uh, we have a strap right here, Velcro, and then we have like a little uh, buckle type thing slider that can slide through there. So that can be used for uh, attaching as well. Um, you also have well, we also have a flat buckle here. Uh, so we have a handful of different like fastening options uh, as to how we want to try and set some of this up. Um, again, we've got this one over here. Uh, so we can sit here and loop it through and probably have it hanging upside down. This one does have a little loop on the end. Um, not that that necessarily does a whole lot when you're feeding it through these, but maybe it's for something else or you can use it for something else. Uh, and then let's see. So we've got the pump there. And then I'm thinking once the pump is done, then what do we do here? Oh, this may be actually the, uh, this is the pressure release valve, I believe is what it's going to end up being. I do remember seeing something about that. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll take a look at the instructions here. Again, very, very basic instructions right here. Uh, so there's not a whole lot to them. Uh, it, it says uh, when you pump the package, make sure everything's here. So as far as I can tell, it seems like everything's in here. Uh, you take, you fill it up, 
you press the air pump button for about three seconds to make it work. So I was only hitting it for um, like a second or so. So maybe, maybe that's my faux pas per se. So one, two, there it is. So we've got the pump and the pump is working. I can feel it. I can hear it blowing the air into there. I can actually feel the air coming out of the opening right here. So if we were to sit here and try to say open it up a little bit and we'll try and screw that cap on and see if it'll just tighten it up, blow it up kind of like a balloon a little bit. And uh, hopefully that's not too loud for you. Uh, it's already working. You can cut, yeah, you see, it was definitely not that full of air. You can see it rising up right now. So that's actually really, really cool. I really like that. It's going to increase your, your uh, pressure coming out of the nozzle and everything. You're not just going to have that kind of limp little stream coming out of it. You're going to actually have some pressure similar to like what you would have if you're using the sprayer on your kitchen sink. So that's going to be really awesome. I really like that. And again, I am going to be using this here somewhat soon. Um, you guys may not see some of this until the beginning of 2023. Uh, by the time videos start to come out, but uh, you will be seeing this as well as some other things that go along with like the camping and survival type stuff. As you can see, this is filling up and it's not taking that long to fill this up. Now granted, this is not full of water or anything like that, so there is that side, but it is filling it up, it's tightening it up. Um, we can, of course, stop it and let's see, we hold the button. Yeah, hold the button for three seconds to turn it back off as well. So that's that's actually really cool. I'm actually rather impressed with this, with the ingenuity of it, honestly. Uh, I think that's kind of the coolest thing. Now, let's see, it has an automatic exhaust valve. Uh, exhaust air pressure once full. Keep you safe. Okay, so that's gonna be this thing right here. They, uh, oh, okay, and also if you've seen this before, I guess, um, they're saying they used, they had this out before and it used to not be very good in terms of pressure. They have increased the pressure because of the design and changing the design on it and whatnot. Um, so, and then they also say that uh, if you have any problems with it, to please contact them. They want to make sure that they're making quality stuff. So let them know if you have an issue, the pump's not working, the bag um, you know, the, the container itself, the bag is messed up in some way, the hoses, any of that kind of stuff. They do say to get a hold of them in that aspect. And then they do have the very last one is talking about the, uh, here, we'll put this back in. And they are talking about, of course, the connectors here. So you've got the connectors, you've got the shoulder strap, you've got the handle, tons of ways to fasten it and everything. And I think, uh, you know what? Give me a few seconds. I'm going to throw a little bit of water. I did bring this in. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this thing up with a little bit of water. And uh, let's see how it sprays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. Let's go ahead and try it out. Just going to let some air out. Oop, here comes the water. And check it out. Very nice stream. That's pretty decent. That will be really good for... Uh, Again, watering plants or anything like that. I'll let it pressurize a little bit more, see if we can get a, even a stronger stream. This isn't super tight just yet, but it's getting there. Check that out. I mean, almost all the water's gone. I've, I've already almost emptied that entire amount of water, so it's really pushing it out of there quick. There it is. And that's, that's about the end of it. That's, that's pretty impressive. I, I like that. Um, I am definitely going to be able to utilize this um, here in the near future. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty impressed. It's definitely going to make the kind of rough camping that's going to be coming up. Uh, spoilers. Uh, it's going to make that a little bit more uh, palatable, if we want to say instead of uh, struggling quite as much as I might be doing when we get going. So anyhow, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Of course, uh, that'll take you to the link to this uh, product from uh, T-Maze. Uh, you, of course, can check out other stuff from T-Maze if you click on the little link in there for their store. Uh, and of course, while you're down there, don't 
forget to check out all the social media that I got going on, guys. I, also, uh, on your way down, you're also probably going to see that PayPal link. When you see that PayPal link, if you'd like to help out the channel so that I can show you some more of this stuff as well as, uh, you know, helping out with some of these new ventures that I'm trying to get into, uh, it, it's, it, it, it's really, well, it really helps. It can really help. So, and I definitely appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, throw it down there in the comments below if you guys have any thoughts or anything. I uh, definitely love hearing from you. And, of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me, guys. All right. Well, that'll do it for me today. My name is Cougar. This is World of Me. And another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Uh, and you can also check this out. Uh, you may not have seen it from the Re Review Series playlist, but you may have seen it from the Camping and Survival playlist because uh, this will be in both. Uh, well, I would love to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.